Alright everyone and welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new here, I'm Christina aka That Variety Nerd and today we are finally back with part two of Wrestlemania. So what happened was that with part one I filmed it literally a couple days after I moved in, so like close to Thanksgiving. I I'm filming this like right after Christmas. <laughs> If you've seen many other videos, we've been very busy. It's been crazy. I've had family over, and then I wanted to make sure that I had this wrapped up, and then a few other videos, at least filmed anyway, uh, before January 6th, uh, because I'm going in for wisdom tooth removal on January 6th. Thankfully, this should be the only time I have to go through this whole process. <laughs> But just giving you a heads up there, I don't know when this is coming out. I wanted to try to get it out by the time 2022 hit, but we'll see if we get it to that point. We've still got, okay, what day is it? Oh, it's December 28th when I'm filming this. But my hope is that maybe this can go out, like, maybe the week that I'm in recovery and that sort of thing. That's what I'm thinking. We'll figure it out. It's fine. We'll get there. Right? Right. Either way, we've got quite a stacked show on our hands. We've got the SmackDown Women's Money in the Bank ladder match to look forward to, which is kicking things off right here. I need to find the document. I'm so prepared. I'm, I'm out of practice. It's been like a month. <laughs> and any and all uh, stuff that we've used uh, in universe mode, uh, that is going to be in the description as well. So there is that. Alrighty, where'd you go? Oh, I gotta scroll all the way down to the bottom. That sounds about right. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm looking up the match card on my phone, which, you know, realistically I should have pulled up before I start filming, but here, it, it's been a, it's been a time. It has been a time. So, we got the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match, we've got the Women's Tag Team titles, and then we've got the United States Championship on this part as well. Next part's going to be pretty huge. So this one, I wouldn't say it's a filler, but you can tell it's very middle of the card almost, right? Right. Of course, in the last episode, to recap, we saw Becky Lynch defend the title against Sasha Banks, the NXT Women's Championship. Then we saw Randy Orton retain his championship in an Intercontinental Championship match against Kyle O'Reilly. And then we saw Mustache Mountain rise to the occasion and win the tag team tournament that they'll be having their tag team title match in night two of WrestleMania slash anywhere between parts four to six. So again, parts one through three, we're going to treat it as night one and we'll indicate it as such. And then parts four through six are going to be night two. So just to give you all a heads up there, we should have the breakdown down in the description down below, so that way you can make predictions and let me know what your favorite matches have been thus far. So, we've got Lacey Evans, Dana Brooke, Carmella, Bailey, Bianca Belair, and Naomi in this match. Holy crap, I'm going on for a while. We need to just get on to it, right? Right. Oh my goodness. All right, we got Bianca Belair, we got Lacey Evans making her way out next. Oh my god, this is bright. This is very bright. Holy crap. Alrighty, we're gonna wait for Naomi because that's just, that's just how we roll at this point. <laughs> that's how we roll here in universe mode. And plus we gotta take a look at the glow because you know what, we gotta feel the glow, right? Right. I know we're using generic WrestleMania 35 mess, but it's a nice looking arena. It serves its purpose, right? Right. Okay, now that's going to be very bright. My apologies, friends. Let's get to it! I even sound more alive. Okay, who's starting when what's going where? Okay. So, yeah. We, 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 are, we are almost done with the Unholy Trilogy of Universe Mode. We'll be covering 2K22, of course. Uh, we just don't know when at the time of filming, which day in March specifically. So there's that. <laughs> well, all we know is that it's coming up March 2022, which that narrows it down to 31 days. Because I think March is a 31-day uh, month. And so that's where things are going. So... In the next episode, slash the closing chunk of night one, we're going to have AJ Styles versus Finn Balor for the NXT Championship. We're going to have Samoa Joe versus Brock Lesnar, and just two dudes beating the crap out of each other. 
And then, of course, we have Johnny Gargano challenging Tommaso Ciampa for the WWE Championship in Hell in a Cell to close things out. So I would say we've got a pretty stacked show. It, it, we had a really strong start to Universe Mode with WrestleMania and everything like that. I can't believe we've almost been through three separate series of this goddamn Universe Mode. It, it boggles the mind. I know that we're not really, <laughs> we're not really calling the action, but it's like there's ten different things going on here. Truly, truly. And of course, taking a look see at what's coming up in night two, we've got Sami Zayn versus Noam Dar versus Ricochet versus The Miz versus Robert Roode versus Kevin Owens in the Men's Money in the Bank ladder match for SmackDown. We've got Edge versus Rey Mysterio for the NXT North American Championship. We've got Mustache Mountain going up against the Usos for the WWE Tag Team Championship. Again, that one's a cross-branded championship. Uh, the Cruiserweight title is not on the line anywhere because Ricochet is involved with the Men's Money the Bank ladder match, and he's the champion still. I know. It, it, we don't know how long this dude's held on to the title for at this point. It's been a while. It's been since at least, what, like Survivor Series, give or take, or around that point? It had to be since, like, May no, yes, December, January. It's been a long time. Huge superplex right there. Good work from Dana Brooke. And then, of course, we have the Raw Women's Championship between Asuka, Charlotte Flair, Rhea Ripley, and Ronda Rousey. We've got, now just reported, Sheamus versus Drew McIntyre. That just got tagged on to night two. And then we've got the mixed tag team match to determine who's running, I guess, NXT and SmackDown? Potentially, that's a whole situation that we'll discuss once we get to that, once we cross that bridge. Uh, we have Candice LeRae versus Tony Storm versus Paige for the SmackDown Women's Championship, John Cena versus The Undertaker, and Jeff Hardy versus Roman Reigns. I know we've had a lot of developments with the releases and stuff like that, and people leaving throughout. Well. Early December, I believe that was. It was like right before the holidays and stuff like that. So we're going to finish out with everybody, you know, to tie up loose ends and that sort of thing. Bianca Belair now. Scaling the ladder right here. Of course, Naomi, a former Money Bank briefcase holder in her own right. Oh. Oh, Dana Brooks going after Bianca now. Oh, God. Oh, and Naomi. Sneaking up there just like she did the first time. Love that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Right on the ladder. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was really thrown off when I went to start filming this. Not just because it's been like a month since I filmed the last episode, or at least a close enough to it anyway. But, like, I just upgraded my computer to Windows 11, and so it, and so, like, it didn't automatically default my headphones to go to my headset. And so I was like, what is going on here? So, yeah, there's a whole new way to do it. And I'm like, okay, well, that's fine. At least it's in the same ballpark. Oh, Bailey climbing up the ladder. She's got the briefcase. Bailey's got the briefcase. Bailey in the bank. Okay, but I like that, though. Can we make that a reality? I don't care where or how. We, we need to make it a thing. What's Lacey up to? Oh my god. Lacey Evans and Dana Brooke are having the feud that we didn't know that we needed here on Universe Mode. We've got Naomi and Bianca Belair. Carmella's just doing her own thing. Woman's right from Lacey to Dana. Oh my goodness. What a time to be alive, friends. What a time to be alive. Oh, and Dana Brooke, she's got a clear as day opening here. She's got a clear as day Oh, oh but Carmella's right there. Oh, Carmella. Oh, and Lacey. And Lacey, oh my god. This, this is insane.
What is even happening? Wait, wait, wait. I was gonna say, hang on, somebody could go up the freaking ladder right here. Oh, I think Lacey sees the opening that we're all seeing at home. Lacey Evans now. Oh, but Bailey's back in. Bianca. Lacey Evans, she's she might have it, people. Oh, but Bianca Belair. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Oh, Lacey Evans wins money in the bank. Oh my god. But Bianca Belair was right up there. We had a similar situation happen to that one Money in the Bank ladder match, I think, from a little while back, right? When Kevin Owens won it. I think that might have been the f second time I want to say he won it. <laughs> this dude's got a, about to get a record at this point. <laughs> I don't think we've had any three-time Money in the Bank briefcase holders, have we? Like, IRL? I know we've had two, but, like, I, I, think, I think it's stuck at two. Either way, a big congratulations to Lacey Evans. Alrighty, everyone, here we go, here we go. We've got the women's tag team titles on the line. We've got Sonya Deville and Mandy Rose challenging Trish and Lita. So, Sonya Deville won a battle royal at Evolution at our last major event. And she decided for her championship opportunity to share with Mandy Rose and go after the tag team titles. And that's how we got to this point right here. Trish and Leader, the inaugural women's tag team champions, as we saw as well at Evolution, as they won the tournament and, well, won the championships in the process. So that's how everything's going here. Right, right. All right, here we go. Here we go. We got Trish Stratus, one half of the women's tag team champions. She's been on quite a roll as of late, and in general on Universe Mode, a former women's champion, a former tag team champion. It's kind of cool that she's the first one to get both the SmackDown Women's Championship and the tag team titles as well. So we're just going to have to see what unfolds here in this matchup. Alrighty, so I didn't know where the copyright was going to clip or anything like that possibly, so that's why I was like, okay, we're just going to jump into it. Oh, that's... Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> I love it here. <laughs> this is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Oh, I love this train wreck. I love it here. We, we, we leave it for the train wreck. And there it is. Uh, the Women's Tag Team Championships right here. Alrighty, so we've got Trish and Mandy facing off. Bit of a dream match situation right on our hands right here tonight. I don't know what's going to unfold, but I'm excited to find out. There we go. I think that's the moral of the story, right? Right. We've got a lot of women's matches on this show. I'm just not realizing this. I'm not mad at it. I'm just pointing it out. How many women's matches do we have, now that I'm thinking about it? I, we've got, like, several, I know for sure. Because we had one... We have one, two, three... Four... Five... Six and a half... Well, kind of six, because we have the mixed tag match, so... We have... Oh, no. Oh, no. This, this one could prove to be a very short match before I could even start counting, to be honest. Six matches featuring women, so about a third. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Okay, wow! Well, the, may, may this part continue. If you need a textbook lesson on how to waste a championship opportunity, look no further than here. I, I think this is this is good to let's just get to the next match. <laughs> let's get to the next match. Alrighty, people, here we go. The main event of part two slash kind of the second third of night one. I know it's confusing. I haven't figured out the right way to label this thing, but here we are. Here we are. Either way, uh, apologies if my voice and everything just sounds out of sync. I'm still trying to sit down with Premiere and figure out basic things. And also, um, I gotta pay closer attention to what I'm filming, apparently, because 
My uh, filming software has been kind of a jerk in just not filming everything. When I went to go and edit this episode, it turned out that it didn't film uh, this last match here. So I guess we gotta go on a match-by-match -match basis and just check throughout the match to see if these things are working. I don't know why it's flickering like that, but uh, here we are. I wonder if we do that. Is it gonna do the thing? Okay, I think it could be either a software thing, or it could be my wonderful uh, capture card. Which, to be fair, I wouldn't be surprised by that at this point. So, I don't know if we might need a longer HDMI, I don't know if we need a new capture card altogether. To be fair, uh, this thing has traveled with me across two states, and also, um, we just recently moved. So, I don't know if it also got banged up in the move last month or whatever, but here we are. We've got Pete Dutta, we've got Cesaro. Uh, these two are another tag team that combusted during the combustible tag team tournament. Oh yeah, also, I want to make it clear that, like, basically what happened on this whole software issue thing. So at the bottom, I film with the uh, recording software that the screen, the, uh, the Elgato capture card recording software stuff, right? There's other ways that you can do it. I know Streamlabs is one of those and OBS, obviously, because I use OBS for reactions. But it was the strangest thing. It just stopped counting the time. It, like, froze at a certain time, but, like, the match was still going. So it was like it stopped recording. It was the most bizarre thing. I don't know what happened. But we're gonna look into that. So just know that if the, uh, reaction... Or not reactions. If these videos are delayed, that is why we have been experiencing some technical difficulties on this episode. And I'm hoping it was just a one-time thing. But my, my I'm keeping my eyeballs peeled on the time thing down here. Right? It's like... It's like I'm trying to keep my eyeballs on this, and then I've also got some snacks about to go in the oven for a good 30 minutes, so that's nice. But we got Peter Dune, and we've got uh, Cesaro. Uh, these two obviously kind of combusted in the men's tag team tournament, along with, well, Sheamus and Drew McIntyre, who uh, obviously are now in a match for night two. Some of these people might are going to be playing double duty. That's the nature of the beast known as WrestleMania Night 1 and Night 2, right? Right. We've got a lot of intrigue heading into not only the rest of Night 1, but also into Night 2. Of course, Pete Dunne was the Universal Champion, kind of holding down the fort, like, across multiple shows for a little bit. So, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see how this thing turns out, to say the least. There it is. The United States Championship on the line. And neither one of them are from America. And that's okay. That's how we roll here in professional wrestling. Right? Right. But here we go, people. Pete Dunn versus Cesaro. Hopefully... Y'all, I was so salty that this match didn't film neither, because while well, the first go-around was stupid, it was an automatic double count-out. Very much like that last match. And then... This match turned out to be quite good. And I'm like, seriously, why, why are y'all doing this? I'm also looking into getting an upgraded RAM as well. I'm currently at 8 gigabytes, and that was what my old laptop had. But I got a different laptop entirely. So I think getting that upgraded at some point early next year is going to be what we're going to do. We're going to be upgrading some things. That's my thinking anyway. Huge power bomb from Dunn right there. I'm trying to get as much as I can filmed in the next week. <laughs> oh, and Peter. Oh, Cesaro. Oh, and a huge, huge move right there from Cesaro. Of course, the main event of part two out of six total parts. Next episode, we got two huge championship matches, including one inside Hell in a Cell. And, of course, we got a bit of a uh, crazy just... Big dude versus big dude match to look forward to as well. So that's nice. Pete Dunne, of course, losing the Universal Championship to one Roman Reigns not too long ago. Apparently over on Raw. So I don't know what's going to happen. I truly don't. But what I do know is this. Pete Dunne in firm control right here. Huge armbar. Oh, what's Pete up to? Oh no, he's going after the hand. Oh no. If you hear a noise in the background at some point during this recording, it's just my oven reminding me that it's fully preheated. And then we'll be good for like another 30 minutes. So it might happen in the next episode when we get the fries out of the oven, but we'll figure it out. 
Look, I haven't had dinner yet, and I don't want anything heavy. Oh, there it goes. Oh, huge elbow. All right, french fries are in the oven, so we're cleared for a good 30 minutes now. I mean, it's not the worst thing to do. Film a video or two and get your frickin' quote-unquote dinner in. Like, I've just been snacking all day. I had what I could have probably had for dinner for lunch. Like, I had leftovers for lunch, and that could have easily been for dinner, but here we are. <laughs> I was craving french fries, I got no shame, so make sure you've got your snacks and your choice of beverage like yours truly here. Uh, I don't have a ch- no, I got one. I got some water, I think. Yeah, it's a little bit of water. It's not much left, but it counts, right? Right. Huge move from Pete Dunn right there. Oh, I thought it froze again. Don't freeze on me! I'm, like, keeping my eyeballs peeled at my, uh, computer screen here to make sure that it's not gonna freeze. So, at least we can just wait for a good 30 minutes until the french fries are good to go, so that's lovely. But Pete Dunn is right on the offense here in this match. Like, Cesaro ain't looking too good. Okay, I say as he reverses. Huge counter from Dunn. Huge takedown from Dunn right there as well. Oh no. Oh no, Pete's going for the hands again. Oh no. Pete Dunn has been like the one person that's historically done well on these universe mode series, I swear. Oh, he's looking for it, he's looking for it. And Pete Dunn hits the bitter end right there. Could that be enough to put away Cesaro? Oh, Cesaro kicks out. Cesaro kicks out. What a matchup that we are seeing here tonight, friends. What a matchup. Cesaro. Oh, Pete with the counter. Pete with the counter. Huge takedown from Dunn. Huge strikes right there to Cesaro. I think we did see Cesaro win that United States Championship back at Royal Rumble, if memory serves me correctly, but Pete Dunn. This dude's just going through people at this point. He had that sidestep against Roman Reigns for that Universal Championship, which will be main eventing the whole shebang, but here we are. But Pete Dunn looking for it a second time here. Can he put away Cesaro? Oh, and Cesaro counters! That's the opening Cesaro needed right there. Oh, but Peter... Oh! Oh! Oh, I thought Cesaro was onto something there. Huge and Sagiri right there from Dunn. Oh, it just skipped. <laughs> I'm just increasingly paranoid over this, like recording situation, okay? I have no shame. It's hard for me to get invested and, like, fully immersed knowing we got these issues happening. Oh god, what's Cesaro doing? Oh my god, oh my god! Oh no! Oh my god. Oh, and done with the counter, done with the counter. Okay, this is still just as good as what we were getting on the second run-through of this match last night. Three's a charm, I think, right? Right. That's the saying. That's how it goes. Oh, and Cesaro might have it here. Oh, and he hits the neutralizer. Cesaro now going in for the cover. Could this be enough? Oh, and Dunn kicks out. What a matchup that we are seeing here, friends. What a matchup indeed. I'm glad that we're at least... Get I mean, right, like, we've only got four episodes left after this thing. Anything could happen at any given time. Oh, what a suplex right there. Cesaro now, what's he up to? Another huge snap suplex right there onto Pete Dunn. Trying to wear down Dunn right here. Oh, and Cesaro, he's got him in the corner. He's got him in the corner. What's Cesaro doing? What's going on here? I don't like this. Oh god, I don't like this. I don't like this! Oh no! Oh my god! Cesaro's unreal. That 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 could very well do it, friends. How did Dunn kick out? Okay, this matchup is already making up for the last two matches. 
I feel so bad because I'm like, the first two matches went by so fast. And then there's this match. It's like, okay, hurry it up. We're short on time here. Oh boy. Mom can pick me up. Cesaro's terrifying. Oh, and Dunn kicks out. How are these two are just putting it all out there on the table? They truly, truly are putting it all out there here tonight. Cesaro looking for something big here. The sheer strength of this dude. Into a suplex. Into a slam of sorts. I'm done with the counter. Done with the counter. Oh, into a huge kick. Oh, and freaking Pete Dunn. He might have it here, people. He might have it here. He's looking for it. He's looking for it. Oh, and Pete Dunn hits the better end of Cesaro. Could that be enough to put him away? And Pete Dunn walks away with the United States Championship. We've got a brand new United States Champion here tonight. And his name is Pete Dunn. And we made it through the match without it freezing, so that's quite lovely. What a show we are... What a match. Truly, what a match. Thank you, computer and capture card and everything for not poo-pooing on everything. We appreciate y'all. And here we go. Pete Dunn. With that United States Championship. What a matchup. I, I'm down for round two of Dunn versus Cesaro. Please uh, sign me up for that match. Somehow, some way. We need it again, please. And thank you. What a matchup. Oh my goodness. And there you have it, friends. I'll keep this outro short, sweet, to the point to uh, ensure that this actually finishes filming, etc., etc. But... We've had some interesting developments here in episode number two out of six of WrestleMania. Pete Dunne, of course, winning the United States Championship. Lacey Evans with the Women's Money in the Bank briefcase. Anything goes here in Universe Mode. It's the, it's the grand finale of the Unholy Trilogy of Universe Mode. So what will unfold is we head into night three. Or night, not night three, but part three, I should say. Where we have... Styles versus Balor for the NXT Championship. We have Gargano versus Champa for the in a Hell in a Cell match for the WWE Championship, and we've got Samoa Joe versus Brock Lesnar. Just two dudes beating the poop out of each other. Let me know what y'all think down below as we start to close out night number one of WrestleMania, and start leaving your predictions for night two and the rest of WrestleMania as a whole. So. On that note, thank you all so much for tuning in. Leave a like, leave a comment, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell button so you get notifications around here. And hit all the links down in the description down below for all my social media and the podcast and all that good jazz. So, on that note, thank you all so much for tuning in and I will see you all around later. Bye, everyone. Bye.